Today we're going to be looking at a 30 round stand out of mat. Hello? What? Master Chief needs me? I'll be right there. Let's go. Oh, I know what the ladies like. All right, I'm back. So, yes, this is the Halo Assault Rifle. It needs no introduction. Everybody knows what Halo is, and everybody knows this is Master Chief's uh, most iconic weapon. You see it in all the box art, and yeah, there's better weapons out there, but the Halo Assault Rifle is always a special place in my heart. There's something about it, like, you know, it, it held 60 rounds, 60 rounds of 308. Like, that, that doesn't even make sense. Like, I, I can't even, that's like, it's like a box this big. Like, the gun will have to be huge, and the gun is huge. If you think about it, like, the Halo Assault Rifle looks normal on Master Chief, but he's like two meters tall. On a regular guy like me, I'm like 5'8". If a gun looks normal on someone that's two meters tall, it's gonna look huge, but um, for, this is scaled to my size, and you know, so it looks all right. It's still kind of big and kind of chunky for being a nine millimeter. Yes, this is only a nine millimeter because I built it out of a Beretta, oh, there's a mag. Build it out of a Beretta CX4 Storm. So, it's already a pretty cool weapon, but now it's even cooler. And why did I pick the CX4 Storm? Well, that's simple. It is the closest thing in terms of operation to the MA5B assault rifle. Uh, yes, you can be like, yeah, but you can get an RDB, you can get an RFB, maybe build it out of an FS2000. It's all close, but it's hard to get this angle right here in the back. And also, none of them have a charging handle right here. It's like, it's annoying because it's like, the Halo Assault Rifle is really similar to a lot of guns right now, but like, none of them even come close to working like one. So, at the very least, you know, I can have it so I can reload the mag from the back and then charge it right here, just like the gun in the game. And, you know, I can go on my Halo adventures like... <laughs> But yeah, so this is the MA5B. It's modeled off the one from Halo 1. I would like to build an MA37 from Halo Reach, but that's for a different time. Oh yeah, so, flashlight. Ah. You know, just like in the game, you need a flashlight, except I also have strobe, so I can blind the aliens when they come in. This is just a pistol light I put in. Um, if I was gonna build it for real, this is more like a prototype. So it's like, you know, I put a lot of effort into it, but ultimately this is still like a proof of concept. It's kind of rough uh, if you, when you really get up close, but you know, it's, where else are you gonna see a working Halo Assault Rifle? So the CX-4 is mostly made out of nylon. So I just used uh, nylon glue and some extra parts and just glued it up together. A lot of it is just shaping like this. This is hollow right here. Doesn't actually serve any purpose, but it looks cool. I had to chop out the back. This is still like 26.1 or it's just, it's right over 26 inches overall length, so it's still a rifle. And I didn't touch the barrel at all, so it's still 16 inches. Now I know what you're thinking of. How do you aim that and what's behind here? Well, nothing. It just looks cool, but like, I thought about putting an ammo counter in there, but it's like, I mean, I can do it. I have to know how I could do it, but it's like, I didn't want to do it on just this gun. It's like, it's a nine mil that only holds like, 15 to 17 rounds. It's like, it's just not that cool. I'll get to a cooler one in the future, but how do you aim? So there's a red dot in here. It's a cheapo like RMR style red dot. I'll probably get a real one later, but you turn it on, you hold both eyes open and you can superimpose the red dot onto your target and you can still shoot. Same accuracy as the game, right? But if that's not your cup of tea or you want something like, you know, like more traditional, this is removable. The cover piece is removable. You just snap it right off. And then there's the rail cover. Now we have Picatinny's rail on top. It's still pretty cool, you know, and it still retains most of the shape. I feel like this is probably a lot more marketable. Like if people want to build one, you know, if people want to buy one or sell one, this is probably the way to go. And you know what? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start using this more. You think I should run three guns with this? Honestly, you should do it with the cover on it, like full on Halo assault, like, and then like get like cosplay ODST. I would love to cosplay as ODST. You know what? I'll work on one. Maybe that's my next project. I'll work on a ODST cosplay. I also want to build the Halo SMG. I also want to build the Halo pistol. I have more plans for that in the future. Maybe I'll make it a 
if you guys are interested, maybe I'll make some videos of me making these guns. You know, if you guys want to see like a build progress, build video, let me know. Put it down in the comment below. But yeah, otherwise, uh, this is my one of a kind Beretta CX4 custom uh, Halo assault rifle. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Let's face it, who's actually gonna aim it? You know, it's a space gun. You shoot it like this. <laughs>